what do you think guys Pontiac GTO I believe this is a 2006 Pontiac GTO 6.0 liters and this is aromatic but still man this is the best let's check out the the engine I believe it's an LS3 This is a 5.7 LS1, 5.7 liter, but still looks really clean. And uh, maybe do a couple rounds tomorrow uh, or later today. Let's see what it's made of. This is my nephew's 5.7 liter GTO. It's bitching. Last time that I came here, I already dropped, I already drove this car, so I know it's got some torque. I wish it was the five, the six liter, not the five seven, but still it's really good. I like it. I like it a lot. And well, guys, let me introduce to you the new ride. I know it's not a WRX, but. Uh, for what it is, it's, it's fun. It's fun to drive this car. This is a 2010 uh, Subaru Impreza. Okay, so I saw it yesterday. I drove it yesterday, and uh, it's not it's not bad, you know. It's, it has a lot more torque than Honda. Let me tell you that. So my wife picked this one up like a couple days ago, and I uh, drove it yesterday first time. And uh, I like the car, you know, for what it is. I think it's it's fun, it's a fun car. And uh, it has the 2.5 liter engine, all wheel drive, which is I was I was testing it yesterday. Yes, yeah, it has a lot of grip. Uh, I was checking the engine, cooling system, all the fluids. Right now, looks like everything is legit. Then my only concern is. This box it's a little shaky, but probably when I throw a intake before I I make my drive all the way to Atlanta on it. This clamp right here was loose from the intake. I time everything up. I check all the fluids, make sure everything is cool, and uh, there you have it, guys. This is a replacement for the black core and. Uh, I'm replacing it because, like, like you saw on the last video, it was a mess. That car was a mess, so I had a lot of trouble with it. It's gotta go. And uh, this is just a temporary fix. Planning to sell it on December. It's not gonna stay for too long with us, and we're gonna try to get something new. So. I hope you like this one because this one is gonna I'm gonna make some videos with it uh, and uh, it's a good thing because we're gonna learn more about these cars because I never work on Subarus and uh, it's gonna be fun I know it's gonna be fun and uh, in the inside seats are a lot better than than the ones on the Accord let me tell you that they're really comfortable they help you a lot better the, the booster right here they hug you a lot better. Obviously, this is an automatic, but uh, it's got everything, you know. I was kind of impressed for what it is, what it has. I was kind of impressed. So, uh, it's not really bad. It's not really a bad car. I kind of like it. It came with only one key, so we uh, have to make a copy, probably. I'll be really careful with that one. So, let's start it up.
it has the boxer engine so you know it's got that super rumble if it, if it was a manual i can throw some uh, exhaust some uh intake and this thing will sound like a proper sewer but uh for what it is guys i can't complain it was really cheap it was not a really expensive uh clean title and uh there you have it that's the new replacement uh in a couple days i'm uh, going back to uh georgia i hope you like this last video where we had the cash the car show and uh you know some words from my visit to chicago right now we are in indiana just you know visiting the family uh checking out the car that they have over here and uh picking up this one and we're gonna drop probably in a couple days we're gonna go back go to georgia and i'm gonna start you know working in this car do a little diy on it uh for where it is it's really clean i already check everything i like it um, but uh, I know I can I can throw some videos on this one, and uh, I like it. It's really fun. So there you have it, guys. That's a new car. That's a new uh, project. Uh, hopefully, it's not gonna stay for too long. On December, I'm planning to sell it, and it's gonna be really cheap. No, I'm not gonna sell it really expensive. I um, just need something right now to replace the uh, car because it's busted. So I don't plan to fix that. Uh, let's get another one. And uh, there you have it. That's what it is. The 2010 Impressa. I wish it was a WRX, but hey, for what it is, it's fine.